Welcome to the Oasis. My name is Mike, and today I'm going to be talking about the Oculus App Lab and why I think this is a big deal for the Oculus Quest community. Now, the App Lab was introduced last week alongside the Quest Update version 25, but I should stress that the new update isn't required to start installing and enjoying App Lab content right now. So what is App Lab, I hear you ask? Well, it's a new method of installing games and experimental content which aren't available on the official Oculus Store. And you can add these apps to your Oculus Quest or Quest 2 library by just clicking on a single link. It's really that simple. You may be familiar with SideQuest, which is a tool for sideloading apps and games onto your Quest. And I did a whole video guide on how to do that a while ago if you want to go check it out. Now, App Lab is similar to SideQuest in that it's a platform designed for developers to be able to share their games and experiences with the community, although App Lab is significantly easier to use and all you need is your Quest headset. You don't need a PC or even a smartphone. You can do everything on the headset itself. And some of these App Lab games are completely free to try, so it's definitely worth checking out. Is App Lab going to replace SideQuest anytime soon? Well, I don't think so, as SideQuest are hosting App Lab links and they're becoming an aggregator of all this content, so I don't think it's going anywhere. Although, I do have some concerns that I'll be talking more about later on at the end of the video. Timestamps have been added as always. So, let's start by diving straight into VR and showing you exactly how to install App Lab games by just using the Oculus Quest alone. Okay, so here we are in my Oculus Quest home environment, and all you need to do is go to apps, and go to the browser, go to sidequestvr.com. And once that's loaded up, which is the official website of SideQuest, if you scroll down, you'll see here on the left-hand side, it has a category for App Lab. And SideQuest going forward, they're gonna aggregate all this App Lab content. So all the latest App Lab apps will be right here for you to try. And as you can see, we've got a few apps here. So we've got a couple of paid ones like Crisis Brigade, uh, Dayzim and Crisis Brigade 2. But we've also got some free apps and demos here that we can try. So for example, I'm gonna select uh, Smash Drums, the demo, and then it comes up with the SideQuest store page. Click on Oculus app and that will take you to the official Oculus App Store page. And it will tell you that it's an App Lab game. So essentially, if you think about this as like an unlisted YouTube video, you can find it if you have the link, but you can't search for it and find it publicly. So it says that the demo is free and then just add it to your account. And I'm gonna log in with my Facebook account now, which is synced. And now that it's gone through the login process, the app can easily be added to my library. And I'll show you exactly what that looks like now. So all we need to do is go to our app library and you won't see it here. It will be under the uninstalled category or the not installed category. And what you might find is that it doesn't get added straight away. So what you can do is you can just go to the store uh, and then maybe like, you know, check out the collections, for example, just, you know, have a little bit of time. And there we go. I've gone back to my library and Smash Drums has been added. I can click install. And once that's installed, I can just play it. And you'll notice that with these App Lab games, they've got this kind of like concept little icon there in the corner. And that's just to tell you that it's an App Lab game. And there you go. Within a couple of minutes, all within the Quest, we've downloaded and installed an App Lab game to the Quest headset without anything else involved at all. So, there you have it. Okay, so if drumming isn't your bag, then I would also recommend checking out Crisis Brigade 2, which is a hard as nails time crisis style shooter, which is a lot of fun and a workout to boot as you'll be ducking behind cover to avoid incoming enemy fire. If you'd like to see a whole gameplay video of this game, let me know in the comments down below. If you're looking for something a bit more serene, Puzzling Places has a free demo, which is essentially a 3D puzzle made from a photogrammetry scan of a monastery in Armenia. It took me around an hour to finish, and it was a super chill experience that I would highly recommend. 
So that's how to add App Lab games using the Quest alone, and some games that I've tried and would recommend that you check out yourself. I should mention that if you don't want to do this process in VR, you can also add these App Lab games to your account by just clicking on the App Lab links on the SideQuest website using a browser on your PC or using a smartphone. I think this new App Lab feature is awesome for developers to get exposure for their apps and games, and I also think it's great for us, the community, as it's so simple and easy to use and just requires clicking on a link. It removes all the friction from sideloading content, which can certainly be a bit daunting for new VR users. Also, App Lab games will receive automatic updates, which isn't available when sideloading content using SideQuest. When sideloading, you have to manually update the games yourself when the updates are released by the developers. More content will be added to the App Lab over time, so I'd recommend regularly checking the official SideQuest website for the latest apps and games, and I've added a link to that in the description down below. And that brings me nicely onto what I think this means for SideQuest going forward. I've heard some people say that this is the end of SideQuest, but I met up with Shane, the creator of SideQuest this week, and he's much more optimistic about its future. SideQuest have been in discussion with Oculus about the launch of App Lab for some time, and for the foreseeable future, it will be the storefront for all the App Lab content, alongside all the content that you can traditionally sideload. The thing with App Lab is that, just like the official Oculus Store, App Lab content will still need to go through an approval system through Oculus, meaning that some of the content that we know and love from sideloading will unlikely see the light of day on App Lab. I'm talking about content such as Beat Saber mods, the excellent mods from Dr. Beef, which allow you to play classic games in VR, such as the original Half-Life and Doom 3. It's unlikely that we'll see those apps on App Lab, meaning that the traditional method of sideloading through SideQuest will still be required to play that kind of content. This also puts a big question mark on one of the most popular sideloaded apps available on SideQuest, which is Virtual Desktop's PC VR streaming patch. If you're not familiar with it, this allows you to play content from SteamVR completely wirelessly with the Quest if you have a gaming PC and a 5 GHz Wi-Fi connection. It's totally awesome, and to play PC VR content wirelessly is very liberating, and I've covered it many times on the channel before. It's an excellent patch, and I know the developer Guy Godin has applied for it to be added to the App Lab, but honestly, I think it's unlikely to get approved at this point due to Oculus's app approval policies, but I'm still keeping my fingers crossed nevertheless. You see, my biggest concern with App Lab going forward is that Oculus are in control of the distribution of App Lab content now alongside the content on the official store. And this means that they could start clamping down on Oculus developer accounts, which are used as a loophole to gain access to the developer mode required to sideload content using SideQuest. They could add stricter verification for those developer accounts, requiring users to prove they're an actual developer, or they could start charging a nominal fee to have access to a developer account. This would certainly stem the flow of people using this loophole to sideload content on their Oculus Quest headsets. Personally, I think if they did that, it would be a real blow to the Quest community, as SideQuest are seeing around 1.5 million active users per month who love to play around with this experimental content. I feel that if Oculus were to try and close this method down, it would just push the community to pursue more invasive actions, such as completely jailbreaking the Quest, which I think would be more harmful to Oculus and Facebook in the long term. But hopefully that won't be the case, and App Lab and SideQuest can happily live together side by side going forward in the future. Okay, so that is the Oculus App Lab. With my concerns aside, I think it's a great move going forward, and I love how easy it is to use. But of course, that's just my opinion. I'd love to know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. Are you excited about App Lab? Have you tried any of the App Lab games? Or maybe you share some concerns about SideQuest. I'd love to know what you think in the comments down below. Leave a like if you found the video useful. Make sure you're subscribed for all my future VR content. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.